Alright guys, so some pretty interesting news here. Someone just posted on a forum of them cracking open the MCU of a 2023 Model 3 without the ultrasonic sensors and they noticed a brand new part number. Now, when comparing it to a fairly new Model 3 that was also cracked open just a few months ago in 2022, it showed that it had an older revision of the MCU part number and the vehicle that was just picked up recently has a part number that doesn't even exist. So in the image right here, you notice that they've even highlighted the part number that is different from the previous one. The most noticeable change here is right after the dash in revision 04, the part number all in all pretty much stayed the same for the first half of it. It starts at 168. So there's definitely something new here and I'm not saying that rev stands for revision but it most likely is the case. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that this is part of the new hardware for upgrades as you guys are seeing in the Model S's and X's but it does give us an indication of what Tesla is upgrading right now and it really ties towards all the upgrades they're doing for this year with Project Highland and the hardware for upgrades. Now the only thing here that makes me feel like this is part of hardware for upgrades is the fact that the Model 3 and Ys both have these revision numbers by now and they don't have the revision 03. So jumping from revision 02 directly to revision 04 just doesn't make sense to me and I think it wouldn't really even make sense coming from 2 to 4 with within a few months span. The 2022 vehicle that I was talking about was just picked up in November and this vehicle was just recently picked up so there had to be a reason that they skipped a 03 right in between. Now I'm possibly thinking too deeply into this but I think it might hint that we will be getting a retrofit. Now don't confuse this for the hardware 3 to hardware 4 upgrade. Elon pretty much just shut that down but this is more so for the ultrasonic sensor vehicles and the non-ultrasonic sensor vehicles. So for those of you guys that just picked up your vehicle late 2022 to early 2023, your vehicles are going to come without ultrasonic sensors and without any hardware. Now, I'll definitely be talking about this in another video, but for those of you guys that just picked up your vehicle in late 2022 to early 2023, your vehicles are not going to come with ultrasonic sensors, but your vehicles are also not going to come with the hardware for radar. So that literally puts you guys in a dead spot, and I think this is what Tesla was planning all along. They are going to retrofit those vehicles to hardware 4, whereas prior vehicles with hardware 3 and ultrasonic sensors are not going to get it. These are all just my assumptions right now, but I think it's pretty realistic that this can happen because I don't see Tesla just throwing away those vehicles and just screwing over the rest of the customers. Now going back to the MC MCU revision 4, this possibly could be the first hint to the retrofit just because newer vehicles are going to come with newer displays for the visualizations of FSD beta. This revision 4 could literally just be a new display with better refresh rates, better color overall, better a lot of things. And all of this ties into the new FSD beta stack where it requires a lot more refreshing. If you guys can recall back in the days where cars would refresh too slow and a vehicle would pass you but the display, the visualization would would still show the vehicle uh, just before that. So it's quite annoying until just recently when the Model S's and X's came out and if you guys take a look at some of the visualizations online, you'll see as soon as the vehicle passes in real life, the vehicle on the display passes as well. So I don't think this has to do with the CPU or the graphics performance, but it has more to do with the newer display. Now one other scenario here is that they're simply just upgrading the display and the MCU processors. It could be a, just a revised version of the Ryzen chip that has the new GPU in there just like the Model S's and X's where you can finally place Steam in your vehicles. Without a doubt, Steam is going to be coming to Model 3's and Model Y's. So this is one of the reasons why I keep recommending you guys to hold off for now. There's just too many downsides of having a hardware 3 vehicle. Tesla is trying to clear inventory right now and think of all the things you guys might be missing out simply because you want to take delivery of your vehicle earlier. I know it's really difficult situation here with the tax credit, the discounts and everything going on. But think of your vehicle having a rear display, having proper ambient lighting, having steam in your vehicles. And on top of all that, having hardware for so this future proofs your vehicle for full self driving. So as much as I want to personally pick up my Tesla now, I am gonna wait out and I recommend you guys do the same too, unless all those features don't mean anything to you. And I really doubt it because you're spending a lot of money and you want the best things for your vehicles. I 
can think of a whole bunch of things that will make you guys regret picking up your vehicles now once those features are released. This is very similar back in the days when I picked up the Model 3 and it did not have heated steering wheels and a couple weeks later it was announced that the hardware was not even in the vehicle. That I would need to upgrade to a newer car and not simply just retrofit a new steering wheel inside. So it was very frustrating and I learned my lesson so I really recommend you guys hold off right now. But so far the leaks and things have kind of slowed down but I'm trying to get the most out there for you guys as soon as I hear anything any information I'll definitely be giving you guys a heads up in these videos so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you guys haven't already done so oh yeah and just right before I end this video here I want to let you guys know that I have a previous video that just came out and it didn't get that much views so I'd really appreciate it if you guys literally just click that link right up top there view it for a few seconds or whatnot and click the link I'll drop it in the description below but I'd really 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 appreciate that the views are just pretty low and I'll be honest with you guys it really sucks seeing that in the morning when I wake up and take a look at it get it to 1k at least guys help a brother out and click that link but anyways guys this should be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it this is John once again peace out